what what advice would you give all the students like i know you're in baroda and i was your student and i just i know so many students in baroda who are literally depressed because they're not professional artists and they are like they there's a dark cloud in their minds they're in a very dark space in their life they're addicted to this idea that art and fine art is the the only way out and they refuse to you know they might be uh, very capable to do various other things but they just don't like and they've passed through this great college that you are a, that you are a teacher of the MSU Baroda and it's it's just that they feel like they've uh like anything less who plants this idea into them who plants this if not and you know, some ideas are there in the air nobody plants them it was um sometimes often But, said uh, that oh your work is very illustrative in a very sort of dismissive manner yeah so you kind of imply a hierarchy in that who's doing you know this? and the fact that i do illustration is in a way a sort of an example that i want to say that look there are no hierarchy you can use your skills in anything and at least i uh, ensure yeah. that you know i do not uh, slip into these kinds of things uh, there are no hierarchies you know and it is not something written in stone that if you have enrolled for a bva degree in painting you have to end up being a painter which yeah. is but what do you think is the allure what do, what do you think what do you think is that is that hypothetical uh end vision that they have well that- it was there you know it it was there and i think some residues are probably still here and it is uh, not a one sided thing i have seen illustrators who are very good yeah trying to also uh make a mark as a painter which they often do very badly <laughs> uh, because they What? they are related but that doesn't mean that it comes from the same impetus you know so when i become an illustrator i have to really change my um, attitude yeah because you have to take into consideration the story the brief the printing technology the size of the page everything you know when you are painting you decide all those things yeah so there are no briefs so it is and also the the target audience you know whether you're illustrating for 7 year old kids and for 14 year old kids there is a difference yeah so you as an illustrator will have to take into account all those things yeah. which is not your concern if you're painting because yeah. you are doing it for an ideal audience of maybe one and you you actually tell yourself that you know it is something within me that i'm trying to satisfy so they are they are sort of basic differences in design because a designer is usually working with a brief an artist is never working with a brief Would, unless they are doing a commission work yes. for a specific project but most of the time your your brief is generated so, by you and that is the fundamental difference some people work very well with a brief some people don't, don't work yeah. at all with a brief yeah. <laughs> yeah, I so <laughs> i don't see i don't see necessarily this is an hierarchical problem it is a question of what you respond to best yes and you ultimately i keep telling this i never tire of telling the students this thing that you have to basically have three things to be in your element one mm. is you should be doing what you want to do yes you should also be doing what you can do very good you cannot do something that you cannot do what's, right what's the third one and the third thing is that even if these two things are in place that you are doing what you want what to you do, do and you do what you can do if you don't love doing it wow. if you are not passionate about it it's not going to work so yeah. these three things they come together that's true you are set that's true it doesn't matter what you do that's beautiful but you have to be passionate about what you are doing that's true. along with being able to do what you're doing and you want to, you can do it, it so yes. in a way you do you realize like the fine arts is a spiritual practice in that sense and also and also it's an, it's uncharted territory it's like there is no way so no wonder everybody's lost trying to be an artist you see you see on television shows there's something called as indian idol american idol everybody wants to be an artist right the end game is everybody wants to attain that that bliss of you know creation every they've associated it with there's this magic around it everybody is like he that person's an artist that's an artist do you guide the student along the way and like do you like slowly unravel that peel the onion piece by piece and tell them look you are placed somewhere as a child we are actually discussing psychiatry here and like this is like a, in psychology we are not in the visual arts space you are maybe you need to do, how do you how do you 
is it a spiritual practice yes. is it a spiritual practice because everything you say i don't know i am a little skeptical about the usage of the word spiritual because it's often bandied about for things which are esoteric which are not you know understandable you can just confuse people but yeah. i will tell you what yeah. i think yeah people often come to me saying i'm very confused and i i always tell them that is the ideal state to be in you are confused or they are confused, are confused. no they are confused they are huh. that um <laughs> I am confused not in me I'm saying the <laughs> yeah. student saying okay. I am confused yeah, yeah. so yeah yeah and I I never discourage never say no you shouldn't be confused you should be very definite I said wallow in that you know because a state oh. of confusion is basically a point where you have many directions you are what are you confused about you know which path to take yeah you know when you are at a chora and you have a way leading straight on the right there is a pagdandi there are other ways and you yeah. don't really know which way to take that is what you called confusion right yeah. i mean i'm being a little simplistic yeah. Yeah, but, yeah. but yeah you, know. you don't know the path yeah so so why should you not enjoy that because it is not about who manzil dikh raha hai and i'm going to straight go there and open the doors because, and there because i am because this is a poor country it is all about the journey you know the way you take so But, you have to look right you have to look left you will be confused at some points and then that should make you think so in a country like india it's a poor country everybody is everybody is after the the students to go get a job or get a life get married early and all of this nonsense is happening and you have you everybody is like desperate to make a career people are desperate in the in the art space okay i'm a, I, every we all admit it every, it's but and you're asking students to enjoy the confusion and yes maybe you've taught so many students that this is uh you're saying the right thing i could imagine that but i'm just like when a student is listening to this while they are in the confusion they would be like uh, uh, okay them there's you know like you know there are like mbas there are white papers written there's research you have things to follow back off in different faculties I, i'm i'm hear me out students have mentors there are there's there's a institutionalized help in so many ways there are in the fine arts a student or an aspiring artist doesn't even sometimes the the first formality that maybe they need to do is a referral or they need to make a pdf they need to uh, please a curator they need to you know there are very few avenues there are very few galleries and there are very few professional galleries that are doing the right thing of culture development and you know even if they're in the commodities market they still uh, there's they're, they're doing some of them are doing a professional job most of them are doing a shoddy job and in a way the indian arts sector and culture in general is not being pushed out professionally with the same fashion in which europe is doing its job so the 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 the, the what you're teaching in school at the student should not fizzle out that's all i'm asking you so how do you or did i say too much <laughs> no you you're misreading it because oh. Yeah no it's not that i just tell them that you should wallow in your confusion and leave it at that <laughs> yeah, then the next part comes you you stopped me on my track you said enjoy I, i'm it. saying this i say this often because people yeah. come to me at a very depressed state they yes. they need hand holding there yeah and i usually hold their hands and and walk them through their confusion and they usually come out with some kind of an answer because a confusion is not an emptiness confusion is actually the mm. possibility of multiple choices yeah you no know, that's what i was saying but you will have to make them aware that confusion is not darkness and negativity confusion is actually something quite positive so once they believe that then you can take the next step right now the other aspect of what you're saying is that some professional practices yes i am aware of that and actually for the past two years i am teaching it's not a course but it's part of their ma studies where i i walk them through process of how to write a statement what are the do's and don'ts in writing a cv uh, how to write a project proposal for a residency or an award uh, so these i think or how to make a pdf file what are the sort of ideals that one should have how yeah. it is important not to send a 20 mb file to somebody <laughs> unasked for yeah that's true you know yeah and they, they usually get rejected and end, yeah. end up in the trash box yeah so you know so these are the nitty gritties of uh, uh surviving in the 
in the art world do you also so do social media do you also do social media now no we do because for de facto we have to make a a social media presence for our final year Uh, degree show because there was no way we could do um, a physical exhibition so yeah. yes so there has been a lot of that and uh, last year was the first time that we yeah, yeah. did it digitally um, virtually and yes. um, that meant about a month and half's work yes. you know editing teaching people yeah, what yeah. is a good image and how it should be yeah. resized yeah, and yeah. what is the difference between a jpeg and a pdf and yes. some people had no idea of how yeah. to do these things so yeah. it took us very long but i think it is a worthwhile experience because at the end of the day they they did have some knowledge not everybody to the same level but that's never the case you know there are slow learners there are fast learners there are people who are comfortable with technology there are people who have access to technology we have students who are sitting in some tribal hamlet who get uh, phone signals at the top of a hillock yeah i have had students who would uh, venture out and go to the top of the hill to listen to an online class so we that is the reality hmm. so you cannot expect everybody to have the same facility but having said that at least they're familiar with these words they the the terminologies and what is the difference between a bio and a cv uh, how to how to you know organize things uh, even things like when you write uh, the name of your university or your college you know how best to do it etc cetera, etc cetera. so there are things so it's not that yeah. those are overlooked but there are uh, there are two aspects one is the art world what we usually understand by art yeah. world what is it the world yeah. of galleries museums collectors um etc exhibitions yeah but there is a world of art which is which is much bigger you know which cuts across centuries yeah so yes yeah, so ideally uh, we would want uh, a student to have some idea of both and the art world requires you to do certain things in a certain way that's fine you know i'm not denying that uh, uh but the world of art is something that is my primary concern and if you are excited about that yeah you will learn the tricks and i am i'm i'm although i'm i'm not going to teach you like an mba student of how to make <laughs> yeah, yeah you know that's not really my forte um and i would uh, rather focus on uh, the world of art than the art world That's true. But having said that, I do understand the importance of the art world. If yeah, you're yeah. going to survive there, you do need to be equipped with certain basic skills. So I'm not entirely negligent as a teacher above that. Yeah. That will be my defense. Yeah. 